Hi, thank you for watching Jason Adam TV. If you haven't, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and leave a comment in the comment section below. Okay, today I am going to talk about uh, a special time on the Chinese lunar calendar, and that is called Ghost Month. So Ghost Month this year started on Sunday, August 8th, and it will last until September 6th. So um, every time around, uh, every year around this time, uh, the local uh, Taiwan News issues a list of taboos or things that you should not do for Ghost Month. Um, so Ghost Month falls on the seventh month of the lunar calendar. And uh, Taoists and Buddhists believe that the gates of the underworld are opened during this time so that hungry ghosts can roam the world um, of the living in search of food, money, entertainment, and possibly souls. So Taiwanese people usually don't call these ghosts uh, in order not to offend them. They call them good brother for a male ghost and good sister for a female ghost. And, and these are the preferable terms for ghosts. Um, so these ghosts are not worshipped as ancestors. Um, and they vary from the pitiful to the dangerous, according to this article. Uh, in Taiwan News. So uh, the article is titled Top 10 Taboos to Steer Clear of During Ghost Month in Taiwan. It's written by Keone Everington uh, and it's in Taiwan News. So number 10, don't open an umbrella indoors. The umbrella is traditionally used to collect souls and is also a typical hiding place for good brothers or uh, ghosts. If one opens the umbrella in the home, spirits are liable to hide underneath. That's interesting because, uh, you know, the Western, uh, Western culture also has a taboo about opening umbrellas indoors. But uh, I read an article a long time ago saying it was due to um, the umbrellas in the 18th century being unsafe and uh, they were likely to shoot springs at people if you tried to open them indoors. Uh, so it was a safety issue at the time. And uh, perhaps that's how the Western taboo about not opening an umbrella indoors came about. Okay, number nine, don't hang wind chimes. During the seventh month of the lunar year, if a wind chime is hung above the doorway, balcony, or window, and good brothers hear it, they may think it's a signal to enter, especially if it's a copper wind chime. Some say that this is because wind chimes sound similar to the ringing of the soul. Uh, I didn't know the soul had a, a ringing sound, but evidently some people believe it does. Okay, number eight. Don't hang clothes out to dry at night. Um, good brothers like to cling to dark, damp places or objects. After sunset, wet clothes left out can easily attract the ghosts. Uh, and when the clothing is brought back inside, it's likely to come along with ghosts. Um, in general, it's not a good idea to hang your clothes outside at night in Taiwan anyway because of the humidity and the dew point. Um, the dew point is rather high in Taiwan uh, due to the high humidity. So um, if you leave your clothes out at night, uh, the dew will settle on them and they will become wet again. So I, I usually try to take my, door, uh, my clothes indoors before nightfall for that purpose alone. Um, another thing, yeah, I've mentioned before, most people in Taiwan do not have clothes dryers. Uh, they do sell them at hypermarts here, but they sell uh, very small uh, dryers that are 110 volts, very inefficient, and they uh, take a very long time to dry clothes, and they can't hold 
many clothes at one time. So, um, so those types of dryers are are really not as convenient as the 220 volt dryers in the U.S. Okay, number seven: don't go out alone at night. Nocturnal activities such as nighttime tours, walks, or cemetery visits must be avoided at all costs during Ghost Month. This is because the yang energy or yang energy is weak after the sun goes down, and those who are more sensitive or unlucky can easily encounter evil or be disturbed by an ethereal entity. Number six, don't go to the seaside or riverside or mountains after 5 p.m. After the gates of hell are opened, it's believed that water ghosts, evil spirits of people who drowned, may try to drown swimmers to gain a chance at rebirth. A reason for not staying in the mountains after sunset is that yin energy is heavy at night and people can be more easily frightened or suffer accidents. Yeah, I've heard the story about uh, you know, if you're lost in the mountains at night, uh, there's a ghost that will appear of a woman trying to lead you astray on the wrong path in the mountains. Okay, number five, don't burn incense and pray at temples. During Ghost Month, many good brothers will gather near temples, disrupting nearby magnetic fields. If you have poor luck or a weak constitution, it's easy to get stuck with yin energy after visiting a temple. Number four, don't buy a new house or car during Ghost Month. Home and car sales drop significantly during Ghost Month in Taiwan. Many Taiwanese are afraid of buying an unclean haunted house or encountering misfortune when buying a new car. Number three, don't tap or whistle in the middle of the night. Whistling or playing a flute at night will make the good brothers or ghosts think someone is calling for them. The same applies to tapping on objects, especially bowls, which could attract a gang of spooks to gather. Uh, number two, don't leave chopsticks standing upright in a bowl. Sticking chopsticks in a rice bowl is always bad form because they resemble incense sticks causing the good brothers or ghosts to mistakenly believe an offering is being made to them. People who leave their chopsticks upright could find themselves having to share their meal with some dark diners or ghosts. Um, and finally, number one, <clears throat> don't take pictures at night. Avoid taking photos in dark corners, especially at night. Otherwise, a phantom photobomber might ruin the picture. Okay, so those are the top 10 taboos to avoid during Ghost Month. And uh, it's, I, I should point out that uh, many young people don't believe in all of these, but there are a few that they adhere to um, out of tradition. Um, so yeah, it's if you're with a Chinese person uh, during Ghost Month, you might want to avoid these things to av avoid scaring them, because some people do believe in some of these taboos. Uh, but it, it's interesting, and I, it's always interesting to see the the people burning paper money, um, you know, during Ghost Month. Um, it's, it's interesting that, you know, such a tradition still exists in modern times. Okay, thank you for watching Jason Adam TV. If you have any comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so. Bye-bye.